Hello everybody, my name is Taras Litovchenko, I am counsel at Corporate and m and Practice at Go Law Law Firm. Today I will answer some of the most frequently asked questions from our clients about buying business in Ukraine. Take into account that when we will be talking about business purchase, I will mean purchase of a share or so-called corporate rights of a limited liability company. Generally speaking, there are a few restrictions. The limitations on buying and holding by foreign individuals and foreign companies of shares in Ukrainian companies mostly concern the spheres of protection of national interests and national security of Ukraine. One of the examples is that non-residents are not entitled to purchase and own agricultural lands, including indirectly by means of buying a local company which owns such lands. Another example is that the new telecommunication law prohibits for a foreigner to be a final beneficial owner of a local telecommunication company. Definitely yes. I always strongly recommend my clients to conduct both the legal and the financial due diligence of the target company. First of all, it will allow you to understand and assess all the legal risks associated with the transaction. Secondly, you will be able to use the information obtained in the course of the due diligence to determine the right amount of the sale and purchase price. It is vital that before actually entering into the transaction, you must ensure that the seller has the right to sell a share. You shall always check whether the share was contributed by the seller in full before the transaction, as far as the law explicitly allows selling the share only in that part in which it was contributed. Also, the company's charter may contain direct bans on share sale or may stipulate preemptive right of share purchase of other shareholders. Additionally, you shall always remember that if you are buying medium or big business, most probably your sale and purchase transaction will require preliminary clearance of the Anti-Monopoly Committee of Ukraine. Such clearance is called permit for concentration, and uh, you shall evaluate the necessity or lack of necessity to obtain it well in advance before the transaction, as far as its obtaining can take up to several months. Implementing the transaction without respective permit for concentration may lead to huge fines, so never forget to check this issue. Yes, Ukrainian laws allow application of foreign law, including English law, to the sale and purchase transaction in case such transaction has a foreign element. Foreign element means that at least the seller or the buyer shall be a non-resident. Basically, no. You can issue an authorized or legalized power of attorney to your local representative or a lawyer who will sign the transactional documents on your behalf in front of the notary and will file them for state registration. Take into account that you will be deemed to become a fully legitimate shareholder only after respective entry of information to the state register of legal entities. I will be pleased to answer any additional questions, so do not hesitate to contact me directly to my email or leave a comment below the video. Good luck and stay healthy!